everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, we're continuing to look at Topaz Studio 2. Today, we're looking at the Sharpen Filter. The other day, we looked at the Reduce Noise Filter. These two filters kind of go hand in hand. I would generally use the AI Clear because that's your one-stop shop, and that does pretty much everything you need. It reduces your noise and sharpens your image with artificial intelligence. So that's the one to use. But if that filter isn't working quite right, then you're going to want to come and use the reduce noise or the and also the sharpen filter. So let's get started here. Let's come up to add filter, click it and come down to sharpen. We'll give that a click. And in here we see the, the typical adjustments. We have the opacity slider. We have the blending modes here. We have the presets. I'm not going to look at those today. We're going to actually just get into the sliders here. But this is nice. Inside here, you'll notice we have types. We have unsharp mask and lens deep blur. Lens deep blur, we looked at that at, in the reduce noise filter the other day, and that's for images that are slightly soft. It'll kind of sharpen them up a bit. We'll look at that in a second, but first we're going to look at unsharp mask. Now, unsharp mask would be the same uh, filter type that you would see in Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. Very popular filter, unsharp mask, and it does a great job. And you have three sliders. You have a strength slider, a radius slider, and a threshold slider. The strength slider is just the amount of sharpening you're adding. The radius is the radius of the pixels. Uh, if you want to encompass more pixels, you would adjust this radius up. But generally, the uh, one pixel here is generally a good place to start with. Sometimes I'll go a little less than one. Sometimes, for artistic reasons, you might go up even higher. And I'll demonstrate that here in a second. But first off, let's just try to sharpen our image up a little bit. Let's zoom in. I'm just going to zoom into the image here a little bit. And I'm going to take the strength slider and start to move it up to the right. And as you can see, when I do that, we're starting to pull a lot of sharpening into the image. And it looks a little crunchy around the snow here. And that's way too much sharpening. I'm going to overdo it here a little bit so you can actually see what's happening. Sometimes in the videos, you don't really see the sharpening that well. So, so let's just bump it up a little bit more. Now, the radius, I'm going to leave it at 1. And let's take the threshold here. Now, what the threshold does, it's think of it as a fine-tuning adjustment. If it's a little too crunchy, you can take this threshold adjustment and just bump it to the right. As you can see, we can get rid of some of that grainy look. Now, I'm going to click in the center of the image so you can see the before and after. So, I've got rid of some of that uh, crunchy look with the threshold here. So, that's working out nicely. And the radius, if I move it to the right, I'm, I'm going to encompass more pixels here. As you can see, it's getting, it's getting a little funky. But sometimes for artistic effects, you may want to pull that up. But generally for basic capture sharpening, you have a raw image, you brought it into Photoshop or right into Topaz Studio 2. You just need a little capture sharpening. So you just need a little bit of sharpening. So generally, I'm going to keep my radius at 1. So I'm going to double-click radius, get it back. I'm going to double-click threshold and get it back. And the strength, I'm just going to go ahead and double-click it and set it back. Now, let's look at the lens de-blur. As I said, the lens de-blur is good for uh, if you have a slightly out-of-focus image. Like, this image is slightly out-of-focus. So let's see what lens de-blur can do. So let's start to drag this up to the right. As you can see, it brings some focus back into the image. And you also have this threshold adjustment. If it was getting a little crunchy, you can, you know, tweak it a little bit and soften that crunchiness up a little bit. Okay, so maybe somewhere right around there. Now, let's click on the image so we can see the before and the after. Or we could come up here to this eyeball and click it and see the before and after. Okay, so there's the before and there's the after. Now, whenever I click the eyeball, you'll notice we don't see the adjustments here anymore. To get those back, just come up here to the layer where it says sharpen. Give it a click and they will come right back. Uh, and that's basically it, guys. So that's the sharpen filter. As I said, use AI Clear first, but if that's not working for you, then go to reduce noise to reduce your noise and sharpen your image. And also you may want to go with, with the sharpen filter here to sharpen your image up a little bit. But generally you're going to use AI Clear. Well, that's the video today. It was a short one, but a uh, pretty easy filter though. So we don't need much on it. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And, or if you have comments, please leave them down there. I try to get back to you as quick as possible. And also, if you like this video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And also, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so and click the bell notification icon. That way you'll be informed of all the new videos that I'm putting out. Well, I really want to thank you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see everybody here next time.